Yo yo, it's Dante PhD here. Welcome to Mococo 102, where you'll learn the very basics of leveling skills and choosing tripods. How do I access my skills? Press K to open up your skill menu. If you've just started the game, you will start with a smaller subset of skills, and you will unlock more as you level up. To place new skills on your skill bar, you can drag and drop the icon onto your skill bar. These are mapped to specific keys. And so let's say I want to put this guy right here. And you're done. You can also swap around skills that are already on the bar. So if I want to move this here, they'll just swap places. You can swap skills anytime as long as the cooldown is not active. Let's use this skill. It's on cooldown. I can't swap it uh, because it's on cooldown. How do I level up my skills? So notice up here in the middle, you have a total number of skill points. Obviously when you start, you'll have less. You can increase this value by leveling up and by drinking skill potions, the latter of which you will have to earn in various ways, like collectibles. I put a link in the description for all sources of skill point potions. Now, notice the plus symbol on your skill. This is how you increase the level when you have skill points available. So right now this does about 10,800 damage. If I level it up, it does about 11,000 damage. As I level it up, it goes higher, and it'll keep going up. So you want to prioritize your damage skills. You can see as I go higher, the required number of skill points to level the skill increases. So now it's two points required. Wait, wait, what's that shiny thing over here? You've just unlocked the first stage of your tripod, which is on this row here. The first one increases range of the skill. The second one is my character's debuff, which increases crit chance. The third one increases attack speed of the skill. I will take the one with the debuff so that I can do more damage to things. All classes have their own unique class synergy and they stack. If I had two dead eyes, I cannot increase the crit chance by 20%. However, a dead eye and a gunslinger can stack their synergy to reach that plus 20% crit chance. Let's keep increasing the level. Once you hit skill level seven, stage two tripod is unlocked. Once you hit skill level 10, stage three tripod unlocks. Notice that I cannot set a tripod for stage three unless I set this tripod for stage two. And notice if you forget to set a tripod and just move on and try another skill, the UI will glow to try to remind you to set these tripods because you can still have a level 10 without these tripods set. But obviously that's not desirable because these tripods have value. The skill level is soft capped at level 10. Once you reach level 55, then you can reach skill level 11. Once you hit level 60, you can reach skill level 12. And again, every time you level up skills, they will increase damage. Notice that you can actually increase the level of the tripod as you hover over them, they'll tell you oh, the things that can be leveled. They'll show you the next level does, does this much. And that's a tier three problem, which is a later you problem. So we'll deal with that later. I'll make a video. If you hold alt, you can see the PVP version of the skill. What skill should I choose for leveling? Not all skills are created equal. For example, the utility of getting my class energy is very useful, but there's also damage skills. I've put a link for max roll in the description where you can look up class specific leveling guides and those guides will help you pick the skills that you need for your specific class. But let me tell you some basics, right? So most content will involve killing trash mobs. And so AOE damage skills are king. Note that you are given two free presets for skills. You can make one for AOE mobbing and one for bosses, prioritizing single target DPS. Similar to changing skills, you can change presets anytime as long as no cooldowns are active. Honestly, you probably don't need to change presets for leveling content, but I'll leave that up to you. However, I do recommend that you take a look at the skill modifier portion in Mokoko 100 because some bosses during leveling will expose you to some stagger and destruction mechanics, but it's not very obvious to the new player who doesn't know their skills and their modifiers. And that's it. Have fun leveling and enjoy the story if you've never experienced it before. If you're a new player and feel pressured to skip all the cutscenes and story so that you can reach endgame faster, you can always return to it on an alt character later when the endgame rush dies down a little. 
Remember to check Max Roll for class specific leveling guides and a list of skill potions. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.